Well now, we join Gary Crowley as he looks back at the past 149 programmes of The Beat. Well, 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 hello, 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 and welcome to the penultimate edition of The Beat. Now, over the next 60 minutes, join me, Gary Crowley, as I look back on three years, 149 wondrous hours of performances and interviews. And believe you me, they've all been given a big hand stamp and whistle on this program at some point. So, set yourself down for a best of of the program that's kept you smiling and warm through those long, cold winter nights. Björk gets all big time and sensual on us. Radiohead let the cat creep in and then out, while Blur proclaims modern life is rubbish. As well as staying one beat ahead of the rest in the music department, Jack Lemon, Tarantino and Mike Myers head our film section. There's more performances from bands as diverse as Belly, Freak Power and the Manics, while Spearhead show us the way to go home. We begin tonight with news of our fantastic Christmas and end of series competition, where you can win £1,000 to spend at any of the UK's Virgin Megastores. All you've got to do is make sure that you watch the whole of tonight's programme, show 150, and our final show next week, 151. Now you've got to watch and list all the performers that you see on the final two programmes. Forget about the interviews, all we want you to do is list all the performers. Now send us your list while also answering this easy tiebreaker question. Name the three artists who headlined at the Phoenix Festival this year. Was it A, Paul Weller, Björk and Van Morrison? Or B, Paul Weller, Tricky and Van Morrison? Or C, Paul Weller, Swade and Faith No More? Answers on a postcard, please, to the Beat Christmas competition. Care of FIP, Second Floor, 29 Princes Street, London W1R 7RG. Your entries need to reach us by Friday the 5th of January. The winner will be contacted by post. And don't forget, you have to watch this week's and next week's programme to win. Good luck and why not pop into your local store where this year they're supporting Help the Aged and Shelter. Now we've blown the cobwebs from the beat vaults and whittled down from 149 hours of television some of our favourite tunes and favourite turns. We're going right back to the beginning, long before we invited you lot into the studio. Let's get this party started right. <laughs> Time. 
pass me by They were wasted, cold and empty deep inside I would hold, let me die Yeah, yeah And you may ask, where are they now? Just look around you, lift your head up the crowd I know now, what I didn't know Maybe rock them all In such a friendship That wouldn't last Cause they weren't right Not like you You're the best thing I've ever had Kind of feeling I've been searching for at last You're the best thing Come see me through Never thought that any love Could be so true Sei così in mezzo a me Vuoi sei cosa fai tala te In every locality We just can't let it time Waiting for a sign Like a battle cry For a long goodbye No, no Just depends how close To grab level you To get on a train C'est là-bas dans la ville qu'on appelle Maison Alfort Quand je vois une Fatma chelou qui fait vibrer son corps Elle me dit M6 Solar, t'as là que je te donne du réconfort J'ai dit non merci, c'est très gentil Mais je ne mange pas de porc Elle m'a fait bouge de là Bouge de là Bouge de là Bouge, bouge, bouge de là Je continue mon trajet J'arrive vers la gare de Lyon Quand je vois un gars qui se dit vraiment très fort comme un lion Il me dit Claude si est-ce que tu veux qu'on se boxe Ces hématomes étaient plus gros que les saints de Samantha Fox Il m'a fait bouge de là Bouge, bouge de là Bouge, bouge de là Bouge, bouge, bouge de là
as bringing you the latest words from the worlds of pop, dance, indie, rock and rap, we've also brought you the creme de la creme, as Miss Jean Brody used to say, of the film world. Here's just a few of the show people who lit up the night for us over the past three years. Our next guest, writer, director, Quentin Tarantino's movie, Reservoir Dogs, was the first film that reviewed on this uh, programme, The Bee. In fact, Tim Roth was our first guest as well. In fact, I didn't won, know this. this is great. In fact, it won the Best Movie um, Award, um, as voted for by our viewers as well, for 1994. Yeah. I've got nothing to give you, unfortunately. <laughs> oh. I'll shake your hand. Though. Okay. Well done. You don't have a little, like, beat encased in gold? Uh, not <laughs> yet. Not yet. We're working on that. We're working on that. Let's talk about Reservoir Dogs. I mean, it did exceptionally well here. I think yeah, it probably yeah. did better here than it did anywhere else in the world. Yeah. Why mm -hmm. do you think that is? I mean, have you thought about that at all? Well, I mean, I think it's a combination of a couple different things, all right? I think it's a combination. One, it was just, it it hit just like the right nerve, you know, uh, 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 with uh, uh, the English uh, uh, youth. But it's not just even the youth, though. I mean, like, you know, uh, I was in a bookstore the other day and this old guy, oh, what you know, is about dogs. Smashing film. Wayne and the whole thing is based on uh, the suburban adolescent North American heavy metal experiences that I knew it growing up in Toronto. <laughs> and uh, that was a great answer. It was, I've never given that answer you're before. Giving, you're giving great answers to you me know, tonight on the program. That is the freshest answer I've ever given. Oh, Ask no. anybody in the room. I've never answered it that way I've before. Never heard that one before, and they're still laughing as well. It's got legs. Welcome to Paquitas, how may I serve you? Uh, yes, uh, I'd like ruler, a girl ox, and a Makita cup. And then I think I would like a, a large with team. <laughs> yes, and could I please have a having donut and uh, raspberry and a orange drink? What? Oh, I, I'm sorry. And bigger okay. Oh, well, let me try to recap the order. A crawler, two sugar pucks, a Stanley cup, a large coffee with cream, a raspberry jelly donut, orange drink, and a box of five holes. Yeah. I listen to X under the big black sun. And I listen to Kiko by Los Lobos. And I listen to Percy Mayfield. And I listen to old 1920s, 1930s uh, hillbilly music. Well, thanks for joining us on the programme this evening. Now, I know exactly the club <laughs> that plays all those sort of music, so you're coming out with me. Yeah. Well, if we're going to talk about my childhood, I'd like to sit like this if we could. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. It was hard. Right. Pain! Lots of pain! It has a lot to say about what one does with age mm. and uh, what happens if you lose the capacity for excitement, I think, which I've always felt is the most important thing that you can have. And if you get older and the light starts going out, you're, you're, you're existing, but you're not really living. Mm -hmm. And uh, suddenly Ann Margaret moves in across the street, need I say more? It starts all over again. She'd wake up anybody. If they were 110, they'd wake up. I always thought if they ever made a celluloid version of um, Scooby-Doo, <laughs> I, was, I was the man to play Shaggy, because yeah. I can do the look. <laughs> and uh, when the whiskers and the moustache sort of like grew a little bit, but I mean, yeah. you know, you've got the part as far as I'm concerned. I, know, I, 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 I think that's sort of been offered in Hollywood, actually, the film version of the uh, <laughs> show. Yeah. Well, it was worth no, doing most, it for the that. The most embarrassing thing about the film is it shows to everyone that I can't really grow a proper beard. You nor know? me, nor Mike, me. Mike, 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 thought, Mike thought I was cutting it systematically for effect, you know, but in fact, that's it. That's what you get. It is a wonderful cast, like you said. I mean, mm. you know, Nicole Kidman, Chris O'Donnell, um, you know, the two bad guys, Jim Carrey and um, Tommy Lee Jones. I mean, is it competitive? They're not bad, they're just misunderstood. <laughs> Is it competitive? I mean, are there any egos involved with something like that? No, it's a completely selfless business. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for joining us on the, the programme this evening. Joel Silver, it's nice to, nice to meet you. Now, I know this might not be the time or the place, but can I pitch you an idea for a movie? Absolutely, go for it. Right, well, Lethal Weapon 4. OK, we've still got Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. It's been a very, very successful series. What about if, say, they're joined by a ginger-haired Cockney guy from London? That could be a great so, idea, but, like but I wouldn't know where to find the guy to play that part. <laughs> You're looking at him, really? Joe, I'm here. Really? You would play that part? What do you reckon? Well, you got it. Every Tom, Dick and Sally has trodden the boards on the hallowed beat stage at some point over the past few years, hawking their wares. Coming up next, some of the more memorable ones with some ear-twisting tunes. Enjoy. When you were here before 
couldn't look you in the eyes You're just like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world And I wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a widow What the hell am I to I don't belong Century girl with her hands on the wheel. She's trying not to make him sick again and seeing what she can borrow. London sun eyes back in your seamless rhymes, but we're lost on the west way and so we. that they're watching 
Well, apparently Prince William is a big fan of pulp, don't you know? Now, join me on the other side of the break in part two of the nighttime pop jamboree that is the beat, because we've got more music than you can shake a stick at. Ninety-five point eight, capital FM. It's some ridiculously early hour of the morning. It says today in the papers that washing up can lead to male infertility. Who's going to believe that? It's in the papers. It must be true. I can't believe everything you read, Chris. It's presumably dreamed up by some white-coated boffin somewhere in a little tiny world of their own, surrounded by absolutely filthy dishes. Good excuse, eh, hey, guys? Sorry, lad. Going absolutely nowhere near the sink. If you're good in the sink, you'll be hopeless in the bedroom. Ninety-five point eight, capital FM, capital. Believe me, it's not easy looking natural on film. I'm Alan Weisinger. As a movie makeup artist, the biggest challenge is to get a beautiful natural look, especially in close-up. The new Naturals range from Max Factor has soft, fresh colors inspired by nature. Light, gentle formulas that feel natural on the skin. You give me Max Factor Naturals, I'll give you a beautiful look, naturally. New Max Factor Naturals. The makeup of makeup artists. Max Factor International. Celine Dion, now at our price, her million-selling album. It includes four hit singles and much, much more. Now at our price, make it your album of the year. Get the color of my love from Celine Dion. Welcome back. If there's been one thread of music running through the programme since show numero uno, I guess it's been spiky guitar bands. Here's a few lank-headed darlings from Indydom strutting their stuff.
I've been called many things over the years. One TV critic actually said I had the interviewing technique of Neanderthal man. That good, eh? But one description I did like was the father dowling of pop. And coming up next on the beat, we've got various pop peeps confessing all and talking candidly. Being able to listen, a very rare knack, that. I think a lot of people with me, a lot of us, people from ordinary people and, uh, and successful musicians alike, a lot of people I respect a lot of people I don't really respect have all said to me the album is badly produced across the world. Everyone says it sounds bad, the record company thinks it sounds bad, everybody does. Um, and I wanted Ed Willis sacked for um, telling me constantly what I couldn't do and Brett said he wouldn't sack him, um, he, he'd rather lose me and he lost me. Let's talk about the Bernard thing if we can and you know kind of get that out of the way. Um, I mean how far back was that brewing? Um, about a year and a half, probably. Yeah, quite a long time, really. Um, so consequently, how did that affect the recording of the album? Um, it was recorded in quite sort of um, unusual circumstances in that while Bernard was in the band, he played his parts on the songs in a very separate way because things had broken down pretty much between the rest of the band and him. Um, he played his parts on the, on the, on the tracks and, and left, and um, we took them from there. Mm. And because, because of, there had been sort of troubles brewing in the band and stuff like that until then, it was, the rest of the album was completed in a really kind of harmonious atmosphere, which was great. Um, and I mean, I'd felt it for a while, I'm just sort of tired of it. I mean, I've never made it a great secret that uh, I don't really enjoy the whole pop star bit, you know. And, um, we just got to a point where we were just bitching at each other and being a pain in each other's arses and we had, look, we need to talk. 
and he just came out that nobody was really into it anymore. So, and now since he's actually decided, which is about three months ago, we're all the best of friends now. So, what friend of mind are you going to be in before you go on stage this evening, the last one? I know it sounds an awful thing to admit, but I couldn't care less whether we play or not, you know. Really? Yeah. I mean, I've just I've been like that for years, you know. Do you think that, um, you know, some elements of, of the media and maybe the public in general find it uneasy, a pop star, in inverted commas, talking about other things apart from music, well, having I, definite well, again, opinions about I, things? Again, if I were a man, they wouldn't have a problem with that. If I were John Lennon or Bob Geldof or, or Sid Vicious or someone else, that wouldn't be a problem. But the fact is that I'm stepping out of the box that society would like to have women in or pop stars in. The fact is I'm a human being before I'm anything. I'm not a pop star. I never wanted to be. I happen to sing, but I also do other things. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? um, so, yeah, it is about the fact that I'm a female. If I were a male, it wouldn't be such a startling issue. People are very frightened of the, the anger of women or the power of women. We feel that it's, it's really come from us. It's the first recording that's really come from us. Um, and because of that, I don't really care what people, how people take it. And it's a really nice feeling. It's a really liberating feeling. Mm. So there's a certain sort of the, uh, degree of, of, you know, if the enemy smashes again, then great. I don't care. Mm. I really, you know, we don't, we don't need them anymore. Back to the music now. Now, you're only as good as your material. That's an old showbiz cliche. And if that's the truth, well, we've had nothing to worry about on the beat. Coming up next, some top pop rockers. Some top rockers. Enjoy. Jack them out. 
Sometimes I attack, gotta give myself a gun, I need a kick, sock, fuck, tip, never stand on top of it with a high rise, suicide, guaranteed I got a dozen little people, but I gotta hang around for last night. Need a double take, I'm just to get away, trying to get a death, I'll feel a bitch, but this is gonna work, I treat you, gonna get me out of the beat, I'm just gonna talk with a kick like a mule, gotta slip on my beat. It ain't right, it ain't wrong, I ain't mommy coming for, too sweet, too strong, it ain't mommy coming for, I need a mommy coming for. Over to the sugar and the coffee and the whiskey of my beer gets rough To the party cause I'm not a need a way to the city Get it right but now I'm a shit and then I'm back Cause I'm gonna put a hoop on the board and put my body to like well Ain't right, team two I need a mommy and coming ball What buzz, what song I need a mommy and coming ball 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 on the other side of the break in part three, I delve deep into the beat boogie box and pull out some of the tip of the top cream of the crop dance bands that have graced the programme over the past three years. Vicks Ultra Chloroseptic Throat Spray. Very nifty. Three sprays and you're on your way. It's got to be Vicks. Time Life Music brings you the sounds of the 70s. We are the biggest, hottest collection of 70s hits ever. Get the hottest songs from 1979. More than one full hour of hits for only $4.99 plus two pounds postage and packing. It's hot, it's happening, and it's not available in the shops. Then audition other great sounds of the 70s albums with no obligation to buy. Call 0800 446 now. Call free on 0800 446 and order the sounds of the 70s at this special introductory price. That's 0800 446. For a great time, call now. If you want someone to look after the family this Christmas, make sure they're strong, well-equipped, and trustworthy. Batman Forever, on video, the ultimate Christmas gift. Welcome back for the final time to the program with Beats, the big bulging dance fest that is the beat. Now coming up next, some of the doyens of dance who have boogied their way into our hearts over the past three years. Tricky, Jamiroquai, we've had them all chum. And who could ever forget this bunch of old baldy knockers, Freak Power. I 
as your day unfolds Challenge what the future holds Trying to keep your head up to the sky Lovers, they may cause you tears Go ahead, release your fears Stand up and be counted Don't be ashamed to cry You gotta be, you gotta be bad You gotta be bold, you gotta be wiser You gotta be hard, you gotta be tough You gotta be strong
because it's the penultimate edition of The Beat, I thought I'd let Clive, our cameraman, walk around me this time. Well, why not? Give him a thrill. I'm like that. I'm that kind of guy. Now, next week, it's true, The Beat bites the dust, and I'll be presenting, believe you me, a real humdinger of a programme. And you need to watch next week's edition if you want to enter our fantastic competition where you can win £1,000 in goodies. Now, next week, I'll be queuing for the final time some of rock and dance music's heavy hitters, both old and new. So if you want to have your sonic taste buds, well and truly, touched, tickled and teased, make sure you join me. Well, I am not a Muslim, but I read the final crawl because within this page there was something for us all. And I am not professional, but I'm a basketball. The squeaking of the sneakers, the echo in the door. But if I don't have enemies, I'm not doing my job. I might do what I come up, but I never do a lie. And people criticize me, but I know it's not the end. I try to kick the truth, not just to make friends. But he did a little to the people in the middle. We got hot works. I got the guitars to run me, the drummers to run me, the people all humming and the vibe was never say, hey, did those get the people in the middle? Say we got high wax, we got the guitars to run me, the drummers to run me, the people all humming and the vibe was never say, oh, it all, it all, I'm too to break it down, I said, oh, it all, it all, I'm too to break it down. I am not a jerk, although sometimes I act like one And I am deadly serious about this every one I go many places, but I know I'm not with you And I'm not a sucker, even though I'm stuck on you But each one should teach one and share with one another So many is out there, there's even undercover Your mother, your father, your sister, your brother Your friends and they enemies all have their numbers Yeah, uh, 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 uh